bar charts, column charts, line charts, and pie charts. That's what we're going to learn in this section. It's super easy to build, right? Let's get into it. So you, we've already done this part, which is the data sets, right? So we're going to go into sheet one, and we are now in build mode. Here are all our fields or all our column headings. And you'll notice that some are blue, some are green. The blue ones are what's called dimensions, right? And the green ones are what's called measures. Here's the difference. A measure is anything you're going to do some sort of mathematical operation on, right? This plus, like, you know, this times that or whatever it might be. And dimensions is practically everything else. So things like words, dates, uh, geographical locations, right? Those are dimensions. And you can swap things back and forth if you need to. So for example, you'll have something like customer ID number. You're not really going to do any mathematical operations on that. Most likely not. So you really want to register that as more of a word, okay? But things like number of sales, um, profit ratios, um, stocks purchased, those things are all like units that you want to be able to do formulas on. Okay, that's the difference. Now, if you wanted to drop one from the other, let's say I got order ID, I can actually just drag and drop it into measures and it will swap back and forth. Okay, so that's really useful later on. You can also click on it like so, right click and go convert to measure, or from the other side, you can go convert to dimension. Okay, now when it comes to bar charts, column charts, line charts, and even pie charts in almost some respects, there's really two things you want to look at. Okay, so let's go and get my drawing tool out. For a bar chart, let's see how pretty I can do a bar chart, right? And let's do one here. Oh, no, my OCD, <laughs> I have to make it even. There's really two things you're looking at. This, right? So basically each of these items, let's say this is A, B, C, D, right? And then the values, so going this way, right? Those are really the only two things you're modeling. Not modern, I shouldn't use the word modern. Those are only two things you're looking at because those two points will generate that value or that value or that value, right? With Tableau, that's that's all you really got to do. It's, it's pretty simple. So let's get out of this drawing tool. And what I want to be able to map is, for example, the category, right? It doesn't matter which one we pick, right? Um, you can, And feel free to have a play after this. You want to grab category, and there's a few ways I can load it up. I can double-click right? In which case, it'll automatically put it in the rows. If I want to get rid of this, I can click it and drag it back and drop it to get rid of it. Or I can right click, go remove, right? I can drag and drop it into columns. I can move it from one to the other. I can even do it here on the um, graphic itself. So I can go like that, right? Pretty easy. So drag and drop. And because we're doing a bar chart, we want these labels to be on the x-axis or the horizontal axis. Now we need some sort of values. So I'm going to pick something really basic like sales, right? So we're going to grab sales, and we're going to drop it into rows. And straight away, we have a bar chart. Now notice, compared to Excel, you didn't have to go through like a pivot table and then adding in the graphic and then tweaking it and all that kind of stuff. You're pretty much already at the solution. So you build so much faster. Right now, if I wanted to make this a column chart, right? Let's do a fresh one so we get some practice in. All right, and my mouse just turned off. Okay, so I want to create a new sheet, right? Because I want to be able to keep this. So let's say I grab, uh, I want to do a new sheet. Sorry, so you can either press this button up here, let's go back to red, right? Or you can pick this button down here, right? Both of those create a new sheet. So let's go ahead. I'm going to click this bottom one. All right. So now we've got a fresh sheet. We can we still have the first one. Let's do a fresh sheet. And this time I'm going to do a um, a bar chart. So one going horizontally. This is a column chart. This is a bar chart. So let's look at something else. Instead of category, I want to see maybe region. So let's grab region. Again, I can drop it here. So this is now my ver my vertical axis. Right. And I want to see instead of sales, let's look at I don't know. Let's see quantity. So again, I can grab that and drop it into columns. So now it's going this way. If I swap these around, right, notice how it will keep building whatever I want. In some other programs, as soon as you put something in the wrong place, it just crashes. So it's not really good for exploration. At least here, it's like you drop it and you're like, oh, that's not really what I want to see. You can move it back. You can tweak it. You can add more things, right? And let's say I wanted a bit more than just 
um, region. I wanted to see a deeper breakdown of that. I can add more things. You can add as many as you want. So let's add in country. So if I grab country, I can drop it anywhere I want. doesn't matter. It's going to plot. Let's drop it here. So now it's split it by country. Okay. And if I wanted to reverse these, right, I would have to grab each one and reverse it. And that's a bit time consuming. So what I can do instead is use this function, right, which is a transpose. And basically what it does is it just reverses the columns and rows, right, just swaps them. So you can go backwards and forwards very easily. So you can even do that with the first one. So if I go sheet one, I can go backwards and forwards. All depends on how you want to see it. Sometimes you build something like this and your boss comes down and is like, hey, listen, Jed, I don't really believe in horizontal bar charts. We need vertical. Our company believes in vertical. Vertical. So you need a tool where you can just quickly adjust these things. So he's like, no worries, sir. Vertical it is. Very easy. Okay. So those are bar charts. Let's do a line chart. So again, let's do a new sheet. Either I can click on this one or this one. Let's click here right? And it's the same thing, right? Exact same thing. I just picked two items, right? But actually, I should mention line charts are good for time, right? Bar charts are good for like discrete things like companies kind of thing. But line charts is you want to show something changing over time, right? So this one is usually date, if I can spell that date, and this is some sort of value. So maybe something interesting would be, let's see the sales over time, right? So let's start with sales. So if I grab sales from down here, again, I can drop it kind of anywhere I want. I'm going to put it in, in rows. So I have a vertical. So rows is, think of that as more um, your y-axis, right? And I'm going to split it like this way, right, to introduce my x-axis with the date. So I can go and bring order date in, in here. As you can see, it's already automatically done a line chart. Why? Because Tableau is very intuitive. It understands that because you've put date and some sort of, you know, um, numerical, uh, some sort of measure in there, it thinks or it assumes you're doing time, right? But let's say you're like, I don't want it to be a line chart. You can change it. It's easy. You just use this function right here, okay? So if I click on that, you're going to see all the different graphics. You want it to be a bar. You want it to be a area chart. You want it to be a square. You want it to be... A circle you want it to be different shapes you can change the shapes you want them triangles just clicks right just click you can even make them little um, pie charts inside right and we're gonna change it back to line okay that's basically how you do a line chart I mean it doesn't get much harder than that right one thing you can do which I'll only touch on quickly is you can have multiple lines on it so if I grab let's say sales I also want to see profit right? I can grab profit and put it next to it. So now I've got two. I've got sales and profit, right? Pretty easy. And if I want to expand this, let's say I want this to be in terms of quarters, I can click this little button here, right, to expand it. So if I click on that, we can now see quarters. If I click it again, we can now see months. And you can even go as far as days. And if you have the data, uh, the data you can go hours, you can go minutes, you can go seconds, you can go as far as you want. And if you want to go all the way back, you just click whichever one you want to go back to. And I'm back again. Again, it's so nice for exploration. But let's say I wanted to see this on like a kin like more of a continuous kind of uh, graphic, right? Because these are really discrete points, if you think about them, right? Discrete, individualized points. I kind of want to see it more as a continuous flow. What I can do is if I right-click on this one right here, right? I can actually click, click on one of these ones. So you'll see that there's actually, oops, I lost my drawing tool. Right? There's two sections. This is actually the discrete section without going into too much detail. And this is the continuous one, right? So we're going to use the continuous continuous one this time. So let's say I want to see, uh, let's say monthly. Right? That's going to show year and month together. Let's say I want to see it quor by quarters. right? So it changes the granularity, if you will, of your data set. But it does it with just a single click. right? You can even see it daily. Right, so that's how you would do a pie chart, uh, a pie chart, a line chart. So let's maybe make this, uh, yeah, week looks good, right? So we now have a, a line chart. Now let's do our last one, which is a pie chart, All right? So if I go in here, now the easiest way I found to do a pie chart is start off with a column chart. So let's do that first one we had before. Actually, let's do a different one. Let's say segment. So again, I can just double click, 
man, it's, every time I do this, it just blows my mind how easy this is, of how hard this used to be for us, right? So I do that, and let's say I want to see by segment what the profit ratio is. So if I double click that, right, we now have those values in there, right? So what it's done there is it's put it just into the labels. But again, you can have it in your columns, you can have it in your rows, you can have it in labels, you can have it wherever you want, right? That's the first step. Then what you can do is click on this show me button, right? And selecting and deselecting it is to open it up, right? And then you just want to click on pi, right? Which is that one. And it will build it for you. That's it. You now have your pie chart. So you see how when I hover, it's got corporate, it's got home office, it's got consumer, right? So you basically got a pie chart. So that's how hard <laughs> or how easy it is really to do graphics in Tableau. In the next few lessons, we're going to do text labels and colors and all sorts of customization you can do. But this is really the foundation of your visualization. So I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you at the next video.